For us as an institution, she probably is one of the most important animals in our collection. She's the last northern white rhino in North America, and there are only five left in the world. And what she represents is extinction. About a week and a half ago, we noticed that in the afternoon, she didn't seem like she really felt very well and she wasn't eating, and that's a big sign for rhinos when they don't want to eat. So we brought the vet team out here and our keeper team, and we thought maybe the best thing for her would be to put her in the BOMA. The nice thing about being in the BOMA, it's a lot easier to medicate her and to treat her to see just how sick she was. When she was getting up in the morning, she was slow, stiffer than usual, and she kind of had a runny nose, so we checked her throughout the day, and she definitely wasn't on her A game. While she's in the BOMA, we're going to give her medications first thing, and then we're going to check to make sure that she's not changing in condition, that every day she's actually getting better. So one of the things we're doing here today is collecting some samples from her nasal discharge that we can submit for both culture, um, and that looks at if there's any fungus or bacteria that might be growing in that area, and also looking at the cells there to give us an idea about what might be going on and causing that discharge and that sign. Since she's such a unique creature, both a really good patient and really beloved by a lot of people here, everybody keeps a really close eye on her, and we have a great vet staff, the veterinarians and the hospital support staff, our technicians and keepers that work really tirelessly to make sure that all of our animals are provided the best routine care and the best care when they get older, like a patient like Nola. Well, Nola's feeling a lot better, so we've been able to introduce her back to the South Africa exhibit where she lives with her friend, Chuck. Introduction went rhino introduction, typical. Sometimes you fight at the beginning, but then you get along, and then everything's all good again. Whenever we do rhino introductions in the field, whether it's a rhino that already knows the other rhino or is a rhino that's new to the exhibit, we always have to have trucks available because rhinos have to establish dominance in the field here. When rhinos are introduced, oftentimes they'll have to squabble back and forth and establish dominance. And in this field exhibit, this is Nola's exhibit, and Chuck came over and tried to establish dominance with her, and he lost. Nola's special to a lot of people, not just the keepers and the people that visit the safari park and the veterinary staff, but the world. She's one of five northern white rhino left in the world, and everything we can do for her is what we should be doing for her. Together, we can end extinction. If you'd like to learn more, go to endextinction.org.